Oh, man. So, if you've seen that video clip, or if you just heard, I'm pretty sure. So, Kobe Bryant, I can't even get myself to say rest in peace. Uh, I, that shocked the fuck out of me. I haven't been this shocked legitimately about a celebrity's death since, like, Michael Jackson. And it's funny, because I wasn't even a... I'm not a Laker fan. Um, I, I really rooted against Kobe my whole childhood until about... I didn't really start to appreciate the greatness of Kobe until, like my high school years, like the mid-2000s, and just respected the fuck out of this dude. I mean, he was lethal. He was the scariest guy you wanted to play against if the game was on the line and your team had to defend defend him. And uh, the thing is, these athletes and these people, whatever, we think they're so great at what they do, we think they're invincible. And the thought of them retiring, let alone dying, doesn't even come across your mind. It's devastating, man. It's, it's devastating on a lot of levels. I mean, sports, it lost a big fucking icon today. An icon. I mean, this is the type of shit that just fucks up your whole day. On a random Sunday afternoon, uh, a flight from Calabasas. I mean, I'm like, I don't even want to be on social media today because that's the whole timeline. Um, I'd love to see what Shaq got to say because, uh, you know, at least fortunately, Shaq's got to be messed up, you know, because his whole his career wouldn't have been the same without Kobe. And, um, of course, they hold beef, but at least Shaq can be at peace because him and Kobe made amends before, way before Kobe passed. But I'd love to hear Shaq's response. I mean, so far, Shannon Sharp, Tom Brady, a few people have uh, Dwayne Wade, a few people, but the reactions are all the same. We'll miss you. We love you. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, but cause I'm like, no way. Not like that. Not like that, not not this way. But that that's humanity for you. That's that's humidity, whatever you want to call it. Um, everybody's gotta go, and it's like no matter how great you are, or what we all gotta go someday. That's one thing nobody can escape. I don't care how great you were, we all die, and that's for that. And we like I said, you lose reality of it because people are so great and you know, like so somebody so strong, somebody so. Uh, resilient. You're like, nah, man. So I mean, that just. I remember watching his last game uh, in 2016 when he dropped 60 points. I remember that like it was just, uh, you know, was just yesterday. You know, wow. Uh, that that's crazy. I'm not normally people be like, man, this, this, you don't know these people, but it's just different when you um. When you see people now, they're saying that Rick Fox was also on that plane. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. People are saying Rick Fox was on board. Um, I'm hearing it wasn't Kobe's kids wasn't on the board, but now people are saying Rick Fox was also there. That could be just uh, make up. I don't know. I don't even want to speak on that because I don't know how true that is. And if it is true, it's unfortunate because people have probably overlooked Rick Fox's, uh, his passing, if it's true. I don't want to speak on that because I don't know if it's been confirmed. Because, uh, like I say, I heard it wasn't just, it wasn't, it, first of all, people are saying it was a plane. It was a helicopter. It wasn't a plane. Um, but, yeah, this is just uh, devastating. This is my childhood. I grew up on Jordan, AI, Kobe, Dirk. Shaq, uh, just seeing all those guys retire the last few years was hard enough for me, you know. But to see one of them die, Pfft. man, I, I'm I'm fucked up in the head right now. I'm not even gonna lie. This this completely ruined my whole vibe, my whole Sunday, whatever you want to call it, Sunday fun day. This right here is uh, a blow. And like I say, uh, shout out to Laker fans. You know, they're gonna shut down Staples Center. I already know. Uh, I, yeah, this is this is rough, man. So yeah, Kobe Bryant is gone at 50, forty-one years old. Forty-one, yeah. Because like I said, I just can't get myself to even utter the words like "rest in peace." And, you know, I can't. No. Yeah, I'm out, man.